Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy K Breezy here. I hope that all of you watching this having an awesome day. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over and breaking down what I feel like is the overall best class setup for the P90 in Modern Warfare. And just what you need to turn the P90 into an absolute death ring game that just vaporizes the competition. So if you're excited to see the best class setup for this weapon, and you're just a natural COD guy, be sure to let me know down below by clicking that like button. And while you're at it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out some of the latest Call of Duty news or any posts from this channel. First up though, I'm going to just run through the perks and stuff that I use with the P90 to make it go off. And I use Ghost so that I don't get added to the murder rate whenever an enemy calls in a UAV. I use Battle Harden so that nobody can just take my vibe license while I'm blinded. And I use EOD because Claymores are still the spawn of the devil and make me want to rage every time I get killed by one. The second area that I'm using is the Deagle, and it's not just because I like to keep the big iron on my hip, but it's also because the Deagle is a really consistent gun, and with the 357 being recently patched, you know, the Deagle is a lot more valid of a choice to use in its place. And I even made, like, you know, best class setup video on it not too long ago. But, you know, really I just, I just want to switch things up and just give the Deagle a chance, you know, give it, give it some love. <laughs> oh, and for my specialist, I use Dead Silence and Munitions Expert. That silence so that I can sneak up behind enemies and take their goodies. Munitions expert because this gun just runs through ammo like a pack of wolves at a Chinese buffet. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the actual P90 itself. And the first attachment you're going to want to put on this gun is the tactical suppressor because it reduces the overall sound of the weapon, allowing you to become much more of a stealth machine and gets rid of that annoying muzzle flash at the same time. The only trade off is that you get a slight debuff in ADS time and aim down sight steadiness. But that really doesn't make too much of a difference, especially with the other attachments that I'm about to tell you guys about. Also, if you're not a big fan of muzzle attachments, or you just don't have this unlocked, I would highly recommend using sleight of hand in its place, that way you don't get caught off guard when you're loading. Next up on the list is the rear grip attachment, and the reason that I'm being specific in saying the rear grip attachment is the fact that this weapon is pretty unique in the fact that you don't get a ranger foregrip and, you know, commando for grip like you do with other weapons <laughs> you get you get two grip attachments so you can use like two type of grip takes two rubberized grip takes just because of the unique design of the p90 so with that being said for the rear end grip tape you're going to want to use the stifle grip tape because it gives you a pretty good boost in aim down sight speed and reduce the time it takes for you to aim down sights directly coming out of a sprint this only comes at the cost of a slight reduction in overall aim and stability but the increase in the weapon's overall agility is well worth it because if you're like me and you like to play aggressive, you'll be able to catch enemies off guard by, you know, just running around those corners when they're trying to heal and stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> For the next attachment on the P90, we're going to be using a laser. But not just any laser, the TAC laser. The TAC laser gives you some major boost in aim down sight speed and stability and your aim walking steadiness. This only comes at the fact that enemies will be able to see your green beam when you aim down sights. This really isn't anything to really worry about though and you know you're already going to be slammed out anyway so it's not anything that's going to negatively affect your playstyle unless you're going for say mount kills or long shots but even in that case it's not going to make too much of a difference. And you can also make a big brain play by like using it as kind of like a fish hook you know setting it out because enemies are going to see the green beam like oh somebody's right there. You're going to run into it basically run into it and give you a free kill so if you want to play like that think ahead make that play. Oh, and the reason I chose this laser over the regular 5MW laser is that you get more bang for your buck and the actual green beam that you see isn't as like dense or wide or thick. However you describe a laser, it's less of it. <laughs> Either way you go though, equipping a laser makes this weapon much more smooth and I really notice a difference and you know just the consistency of getting kills with this weapon once I unlock a useful laser attachment. Moving on though, the next attachment is a stock, the FSS Heavy Stock Pro to be exact. The reason that I decided to go with this stock is a lot of the earlier attachments that I mentioned, you know, they really negatively affect the aim and stability of this weapon. So the goal with this stock is to negate that and just, you know, kind of counterbalance it and make it more equal. And I say that using this stock is definitely worth the con of having a slight debuff and aim and strafe speed. Because it feels like I don't have to try so hard to get those challenging shots and the weapon becomes much more consistent recoil wise. If you haven't unlocked this then I definitely recommend running another grip in its place until you do. 
And for the fifth and final attachment, I'm bringing out the big boy barrel that you probably noticed in the thumbnail and what makes the P90 look so cool. This barrel is the 16 inch tack retribution barrel, which gives you some buffs and damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control at the cost of some aim downside speed and overall movement speed with this weapon. But this barrel can be unlocked pretty early on and makes the P90 not feel so limited as an SMG because you're able to do much more damage at a longer range. I immediately noticed that after putting on this barrel, I was getting more long shot kills and I wasn't having to, you know, struggle so hard to get them. And you know what they say, a nice barrel attachment a day keeps the squeakers away. But with that guys, covers and breaks down what I feel like is the best P90 class setup to use in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Especially if you're trying to do the challenges to get the gun go. The P90 is already a good weapon, but maybe with a few buffs here and there, it could probably compete with some of the top tier SMGs like the MP5 to really be considered one of the best SMGs in the game. I mean, it's, it's really good, just it's not god tier yet. And, you know, I never thought I'd be playing shipment with the P90 ever since I logged off of Call of Duty 4, you know, <laughs> so many years ago, but hey, look, look here now, look where we are. While we're on the subject, what do you think about shipment? Because I've been hearing a lot of different mixed opinions with, you know, some people whining and complaining that it's too horribly crowded and the spawns are horrible. And you know, other people are just saying it's pretty much what they expected, pretty much what they remember. I'm more so leaning on the right side because I remember in COD 4, not only did you have, you know, the new tubes and stuff and the shotguns and the one shot M16, people had the Maestro Dome, Maestro Dome, Maestro Deedly, Perk, so that when you die, you drop a grenade. That was actual cancer. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's basically more or less what I remember personally. I'm actually having a lot of fun. And even though I do get killed a lot, I'll die like 40 times. And then I'll get like 70 kills in the next game, you know? So it, it kind of balances itself out despite the skill based matchmaking. It's also a really good way to earn some XP. But I do have to admit that it does get annoying when somebody like spawns right behind you in a corner that there is no way you could kill them or somebody throws a c4 on top of your head and you just die or that one person running around 725 but thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out some of the latest call of duty news or a post from this channel and if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way please consider leaving a like because that really helps me out and lets me know what kind of videos that you guys like to watch also, feel free to let me know down below what weapon do you want to see a best class setup video about next or just any video ideas that you have for the channel. But thank you guys again so much for watching and as always, it's your boy KB. Signing off. Peace.